Hello all, I'm Dr. Gayatri Krishnamurthy, Reader, Department of Prosthodontics, Kasturba Hospital, Manipal. As a prosthodontist and an implant specialist, the most common question I get asked is, what are dental implants and who can get them? Let me clear your doubts. So dental implants are small metal posts which are typically made up of titanium and they are surgically placed inside the jawbone. Dental implants usually comprise of three parts, the implant itself, the abutment which connects the implant to the cap or, which, or the one which resembles your natural tooth. Why do you have to get dental implants? What are the advantages of getting dental implants? So the traditional method of treatment involves getting a removable prosthesis which is called as a denture and the other option is a fixed one which is called as a bridge. Now the problem that people face with dentures is that they are uncomfortable, they cause difficulty in speech, chewing. Whereas when it comes to bridges, there involves reduction or grinding of the adjacent teeth. Dental implants, in contrast, do not involve any grinding of the adjacent teeth. They provide superior comfort, stability, and improve your confidence and overall quality of life. Now, based on the number of missing teeth you have, dental implants provide numerous options for you. Whether you have a single missing tooth or multiple missing teeth, or no teeth at all, dental implant will provide numerous solutions for you. If you have a single tooth that is missing, one implant can be placed in that region and a cap can be given. If you have multiple teeth that are missing, multiple implants can be placed, which can be joined together in the form of a bridge. Now, if you have no teeth or any teeth at all, then you have two options, which is a removable implant prosthesis or a fixed implant prosthesis. Now, the most important question of the hour, who can get dental implants? Dental implants are usually suitable for a majority of the population, but the dentist will analyze and evaluate whether you are a suitable candidate to receive dental implant or not. So there are a few parameters which the dentist will evaluate to see whether you are a suitable candidate to get a dental implant or not. The first one, if you have a healthy jawbone, it's important that you have a good quality and good strength of the bone before we proceed forward with an implant placement. The second parameter is gum health. Gum health is very important for the success of dental implant. Whether you have untreated gum diseases or an aggressive gum treatment that is pending, it is important that you get yourself evaluated before we proceed forward with an implant placement. The third parameter is your overall health and lifestyle. Now, dental implant involves a minor surgical procedure. So it is important that we evaluate your overall health before we start off with the implant placement. So the dentist is going to evaluate whether you have any heart condition, any bone condition, or even if you are a chain smoker or not, because these are the factors which are going to affect the success of implant placement. The last and the most important parameter is your commitment towards maintaining the oral health. After implant placement, it is important that you maintain your overall oral hygiene. Dental implants offer a successful solution, provided along with the dentist, the patient also maintains the overall health of the implant. Dental implants are highly successful and offer long-term benefits. Those of who are looking for comfort, confidence, a beautiful smile, and a long-term success, dental implants are a worthwhile investment. Thank you.